Hi guys, we need a little bit of a lightened kind of video out there this week, I think as well. So I thought I would just do this uh, fun card draw. No, I'm, I think uh, I think I'm limited on time right now, so I'm not going to go through and do this for each individual sign. If you know what you're listening to, if you know how to listen, when it comes to angels, you don't need it spelled out like that. I mean, yeah, I know it could be fun and convenient, and when I have time, I will be happy to do that. But please don't discredit how these things are hitting you, even if it is a general reading, okay? All right, so we have a card here, teaching and learning. That is the whole thing we're doing right now. We are all in humanity, collectively going through this massive teaching moment, like we're being taught uh, and we're, ha we're being asked to learn, being asked to learn and exam or examine and learn. I guess that has to go in that order, right? Examine and learn um, how we function and how we think. I don't know about you guys, but I know with a lot of the things that have been going on in the world or just how people have been behaving, I have found myself getting so angry and thinking, you know, this just needs to stop and almost like it all costs. And like, I have to catch myself and go, whoa, 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 watch what you're saying there. Like, we need to catch ourselves. And I, I didn't even know what I was saying or thinking. I didn't say it, but I didn't even realize what I was thinking, but I had to catch myself, like watch the energy behind that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So teaching and learning, here's Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmuting and also getting rid of things that no longer serve us. And that usually is a mindset or a way of thinking. Again, learning to catch ourselves and to grow through that. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Now, this card is not talking about learning concepts and then acting like a know-it-all and going out <laughs> telling everybody. Be surprised what people do with these messages. This is share what you've learned what the other person, if it's asked for, if it's relevant in the moment, what the person does with it is up to them. All right, beloved one, we need to be more connected with one another. And if you watch the other uh, message that I put out that I will be posting around the time I post this, go back and watch that. It's very important. This is part of what we're learning to do. See, we all said, oh, we just want world peace. You can't have world peace when you have part of you that is still uh, combative, judgmental, hateful, right? So it's almost like we're going through all the things that we are right now as a reflection of how we respond to things and then taking it from there, right? What has happened to you? Um, have you been feeling really down? It's self-examination time so that we can connect with each other in a space of love. It's not just something like, oh, why can't we all just be peaceful? Half the time, people who talk like that, oh, you know I'm coming with the clarity around this, okay? Half the people who speak like that are selling something or they're trying to use you as supply, okay? And this thing of people saying, that person's not like that, why? Because they're soft-spoken, so what? That doesn't mean they're not manipulative. It doesn't mean that they're not judging you. Feel me? Like there's a persona that gets put out there. I talk about it all the time. But anyway, the card is beloved one, Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is the Archangel of love. I have a little bug in here. Hi, dude. He was here for the last video too. He's like, he's fascinated with the lens. Okay, he loves the lens. So I do apologize if you see that. But Shamuel also helps us with self-love because a lot of why people get in distortion, they start acting out, they become unhinged is because they're feeling bad and they want to lash out or they're not feeling worthy. Um, or there could be a, I'm hearing from Shamuel now, these people don't, some people have come to not have a capacity for love to accept it, much less give it because it was something that was taken away from them. And so they've come to resent it. They've come to resent love because it was never offered to them. And so they fight against it. They see it as a weakness, right? Uh, it says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So there's that buzzword there that some people love or hate. Um, yeah, I just realized <laughs> I got some red nail polish on my finger that I didn't completely wipe off. It's not blood. We're fine. Okay. Everything's fine. We're going to be, we're going to be great. 
spiritual soulmate relationship. So that buzzword of soulmate, remember, that just means um, us working together, right? Every every soul that is incarnated is learning something from another soul. That's, that's what we do here, okay? So please don't run away with that and say, oh, it's my soulmate and this person's absolutely awful to me, but I believe that they're my soulmate. Here is the biggest grift out there. You ready? I just feel so connected to them. That's fear and insecurity you're feeling. That charge, that that jolt of lightning that, that you get. That's because that, that I keep calling it a buzzy. It's like a, you know what it is. I'm sure, I'm sure at some point you've had that. That's not even love. No, it's the same kind of sensation you would get if you watched a horror movie. And you're like, what, Michelle, what are you saying? Like, think about it. People who like to, okay, maybe not a horror movie. But let's take it down a notch. Let's say you go to like a spooky house or something and someone jumps out at you and it's harmless. Okay. Um, and, and you think it's funny because they just scared you. So you had that jolt, right? And then you're laughing at that charge, right? The same kind of thing. Except with love and love partnerships, it's not a joke, okay? Someone could come in and it could be real fun and exciting and uh, you're curious about where it's going to go, but it's not anchored in anything. But as I said, the the thing is, is that that's how a lot of these, let's say, souls that are incarnated who have sort of a disproportionate amount of darkness in them, that's how they get you in so that they can come and feed off of you later. You become a spider in their web. I know that sounds so disheartening, but I just did you a favor, okay? I do believe. Because <laughs> if you can if you can understand that and you know that that's not love, now you're open to find real love. And that is what this is talking about, okay? Then we have spiritual understanding. Hitting us over the head with it. Archangel Raziel. Raziel is about seeing the potentials, the, you know, finding light in the dark and actually creation, right? So um, creating things for ourselves. Now, if you haven't heard me say this before, one of the first messages that I ever got from Archangels was, you know, we are in part here to be co-creators of our own microcosm, to practice with sort of uh, creation tools, right? So we get this little reality that we're in charge of with the divine, right? Co-creating. And things that we have learned, some people would say from our father, um, our heavenly father, or from God source creator, the universe. Go ahead, go ahead with your terms. Uh, we're taking our shot to see that what we've learned, if we put it into practice, what becomes of it? And what happens when we're in this classroom with all these other students all trying to do the same thing? What happens when worlds collide, when they were at cross purposes with one another? That's teaching us something as well. Okay. So this spiritual understanding, Archangel Razio, he helps us um, remember that in, in a certain way to help us manifest what really is going to be useful for us. Not just in this fleeting moment, but on that soul level so that you can, why am I getting like, I'm getting like a video game in my head. Like I'm thinking like Mario Brothers, like old school Mario Brothers too. I, was that the one with the dancing palm trees? And it was like, dun, 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 uh, something like that. <laughs> so, oh, hopefully I don't get a, a copyright strike for that one. Um, but anyway, there was like, <laughs> that's the image I get. And we get to collect another coin. I'm sorry. Okay. My brain works the way it does. And that's all we got. Okay. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Part of why we still are not moving forward, whether it's in our lives or just out in the world, it's because we have not taken a moment to reconnect. We're staying on the surface and worrying about one thing after another uh, and just going after being right. We see people get, here, here's another example, people getting a charge out of seeking truth. Seeking truth is a beautiful thing. You got to be careful though, right? We know that. But some people take it way too far. Have you ever had anybody sit there and lecture you? 
about, do you know they're lying to us? Did you know this is happening? That Okay, now, now you're off the rails, bro. Okay, like you're not even out here caring about the truth anymore. You care more about the sting and the, and the excitement you get that I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I could just give you a sense of purpose, didn't it? In a weird way, but yeah. Okay, anyway, that's a whole other thing. We don't need to go there. Leadership Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel has been a very big presence uh, in trying to help us um, feel more nurtured and to come back into our own sense of selves, right? It's like remembering ourselves. So leadership, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Now, that's a trumpet. Gabriel is the one who blows the trumpet in the end of days. Okay. It's the end of ways, actually. I just heard that. Okay. That's good. Okay. So it's the end of ways, not the end of days. I like it. That could be a bumper sticker. I like it. All right. Lovingly guide others. This is another one where people with their egos start to go, that's right. I should be in charge. Remember, there are a lot of, um, the consciousness that a lot of people are carrying is broken. It's broken. I had heard someone, um, who was it? Oh gosh. I wish I could remember to give them credit. Someone had said it was an expert on narcissism and they said that, um, narcissists have had a psychotic break from reality. If you know who that was, please comment that down. Was it Richard? Is it Richard Gannon? I don't remember. I think anyway, double check me on that. Um, and I just thought that was the most brilliant way to put that from a spiritual aspect. Yeah, there's a huge disconnect from the purity of the soul that is still there. But the way I've described it before is it sort of kind of gets squashed down and then it gets filled up with all this smoke. And that smoke is sort of the swirling lower energy, right? So being the leader, I think what this is talking about in context of all the other cards is being the leader of yourself, taking accountability, uh, admitting your faults, right? So many of us have come to think that that is a dangerous thing because maybe we would, would have been severely punished, right? So we are quick to throw things away and not, and not, you know, work through the lesson that's coming through. But look at this. We have leadership, spiritual understanding, beloved one, okay? And teaching and learning. That is what's going on whenever you come across this video. Sorry, I was looking at my over here. I didn't bring this deck over that I usually use. So, yeah, the only way to, they're saying the only way to come out of these lessons is to allow yourself to go through them and to stop avoiding. Okay. All right. For a color card, Cyan, you guys know I love this card. Build your confidence. But this means build your confidence when it comes to learning who you are and that's on a deep soul level and what does that look like it's going to be different for everybody but if you want to work with me by the way angelsouls444.com that would get you a standard reading live readings and courses or the courses that i'm teaching are live one-on-one -on -one trainings we work together for your specific situation the courses i'm offering could be a course on any archangel we can certainly do that uh learning angel mediumship which is four sessions right that's the whole course or the singular course of learning to connect with your angels where i sit with you one-on-one -on -one, see what your blocks are and help you work through them right then and there and then i give you tools to keep developing that skill now if you are here and you're a loyal viewer i have a code i know i, I said this in the other video i don't like doing this part of it but i got to pay my bills, I guess. <laughs> so if you want to pay my bills, you got to know what, what my job is and what my services are, right? But yes, I have a code. It is grateful25. If you use that, you will get 25% off of a standard reading. And this is the first time I've ever done this. If you mention this in the email, when you're reaching out for a live reading, you can use that for a live reading as well. This offer will end at 11.59 p.m. on November 21st, 2023. So keep that in mind. Get in there. All terms apply. Back to Cyan, okay? Okay. Anyway, that, I, gotta, I just got to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Build your confidence. Numbers 35 reduces to eight. 
build your confidence in your spiritual practice. And this is not, here's how you know someone who claims to be spiritual it has missed the point. My guides say this. If they say it with any sort of like, I'm right, you're wrong. That's not it. That's not what angels specifically, or or spirit guides too. You know, there's room for other people to be correct. I mean, we're all kind of adding to the ideas here, right? So that's one of them. Or if they're claiming that their spiritual team swears at them, that's a huge red flag. That's no, no. Okay, they're not swearing at you. That's your brain. That's you. That's you doing it. Okay, I. That's a whole conversation. But you also hear people saying, "My angels got mad at me." Those aren't angels, or if they are, they're a different kind of angel. Okay, or my my spirit team would totally tell me to do this thing to this person, and it's not very great. You are not dealing in the light, okay? I don't know what you did. (laughs) You better close it up, okay? Close it up, clean it up because we don't need that. Don't be that person who like, like unearths something, bury it back, okay? Like, no, don't don't be releasing that out into the world. And that's where we're gonna end this video. (laughs) Do thank you for being here. Thank you guys for supporting me. Please do not underestimate how much you contribute to me being able to do this work. When you just like the video, you share it, you come back and watch it. Maybe you watch it a couple of times. You don't even have to spend a dime. Just make sure you are subscribed because this happens. Oh, I should have said this in the other video. There's plenty of creators that I watch on YouTube and I know I've been subscribed to. They're like my favorite people. I know I'm subscribed and I go in and I'm no longer subscribed to them. Okay. I didn't unsubscribe. I'm too lazy for that. Do you know how many people I should unsubscribe for? And I just haven't done it. They're just sitting there. Uh, So I know that didn't happen. Please double check that you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell. You see a little pull down thingy. You can hit all or you. I think you can personalize it. I don't know. But just make sure that you've done that. And in turn, that means that I can do this work. I want to do this work. So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. And as always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care.